What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Billy Mac. Excuse me while I take a sip of water. Take a sip of water. Excuse me, sir. May I have some water? And that's good. back in the 90s um yes I literally just took a water break on camera I don't care this is my channel it's my channel um I'm here to talk about it. it's another episode of mycology where I talk about things that that bother me or I, I give some commentary on things that I think we should just talk about so recently I've been I've been um, getting into a lot of the videos on the whole red pill blue pill society and um, and one of one of the biggest arguments is the is the war between the alphas and the betas and we're not talking about anyone from the divine nine for those who don't know who divine nine is is the sororities and fraternities among Black people in the HBCUs. No, we're talking about alpha males and beta males. And as you can see by the thumbnail, I have come to the conclusion that women have created the beta male. I'm going to give you three examples. The first example, the sex industry. The sex industry in itself has created, has made men into beta males. How do I know this? Because if women were more receptive to being open to dating, less attractive, not as financially secure, uh, men with lower physiques, with, with not the best physiques. If men, if women were more receptive to dating these men, and I'm not saying all women are not giving men a chance, but the majority, the majority of women out here are not giving men a chance. And um, if these women were more receptive to giving these men chances out here, these men would have more confidence and the sex industry wouldn't be as profitable as it would be. Because let's face it, men go to the sex industry to, in a way, get something that they're not getting in real life. They're fantasizing over something that they wish they had. That's why a lot of men, when they, when they first start watching porn, they believe what they're seeing on camera is real sex. With the, with that, but the actuality is they are actors and actresses. You know what I mean? And so what a lot of men, so with that said, if men were regularly getting or having, if men were regularly having sex with a lot of women, OnlyFans, the porn industry, uh, strip clubs, that stuff wouldn't work because men would be like, why do I need that when I can just Go holla at this chick down the street and she's going to give it to me. <laughs> like, why? Why should I do that? It, it's, it's just, it doesn't make any sense. But that's neither here nor there. Sort of not. The second reason why women have created beta males is because of the rhetoric the lies, the hypocrisy that comes 
with women? Oh, I want a man that is loving and caring and will will help me and, and just be there for me. No, you don't. No, you don't. Stop, just st stop with the lies. Stop capping is what the kids say nowadays. Y'all want that because if y'all wanted that, then these beta males would be getting see on the regular basis. They would be getting it. They, like they would be get because guess what? That's what they do. They're loving and they're caring and they'll listen and they'll do anything for you. Y'all don't want that. Now, like I said, this is not every woman. I know there's some of y'all out there that genuinely want that. Y'all genuinely want a man who's loving and caring and it's going to be. Y'all want a beta. Y'all, but but then the problem is y'all want a beta that's six foot <laughs> that that make that has that make six figures. <laughs> and that that's impossible almost. Because you have to have somewhat of an athlete mentality to get to that level. To get to that level, you have to have somewhat alpha masculine mentality. But that's another subject for another day. So the reason, second reason, y'all, second reason there's beta males on this earth is because they're listening to y'all and y'all clearly are lying to them. Because all these beta males really want is, is a woman. They, all they want is a woman. They want somebody to come home to. They want somebody to take care of. That's what they, they want that. And, and to get that, they're listening to y'all. But y'all are lying. And or, okay, because I know there's a whole bunch of y'all that are sensitive as hell. Maybe y'all not lying, but you really don't know what you want. Which is why you should watch my video that I made, I think, two or three years ago. The number one thing a woman, as a woman... Before you should even start dating anybody, the number one thing you should do is know what the f you want. If you don't know what you want, you are going to wander aimlessly into this dating world. You, you, it's not you're not going to find a husband, or you might find a husband, but he's going he's not going to be what you want. Plain and simple. And now. Number three, and this is the number one reason. This is the number one reason why women have created beta males. The number one reason why women have created beta males is simply this. It's because your standards are too high. And it shouldn't be. Ladies and gentlemen, or ladies in general, let, let's, let's, I'm about to go on a rant. Let, I'm, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. Okay. I hear a lot of chicks say, they want a they want a man that's six feet, makes six figures, has six inches. First of all, do we not realize that's the mark of the beast? That's the goddamn devil. So y'all want the devil. <laughs> Automatically, y'all want the devil. That's who y'all want. Y'all want the devil. Y'all want the devil. All right. Let's just let's just for all my Christian folk out there, you want the devil. Let's let's just go there right now. So that, that rhetoric in general is not of God and it's wrong altogether. Okay, number two, number one. Number two is unrealistic. It's unrealistic. The men who have who are six at least six feet tall, making six figures, and have a dick that's six inches long, is very small, ladies. It is very 
very small. Now, I remember I, I, I was talking with a friend. She she contacted me from on a personal side. And she, you know, she asked me, she was like, Billy, you know, I, it's kind of hard out here. I'm just, do you, do you think from a man's perspective, my standards are too high? And I told her real talk. I'm like, listen, you are, you are more than welcome to have your standards. You are more than welcome to have your standards. The issue is, if your standards are the same as some other woman, you are now in competition with a guy that's not readily available. And not, and then not only you're in competition with a guy that's not readily available. Let's let's be let's take it to the next step. That guy, nine times out of 10, he's not going to want someone in their 30s who has a child and is ready to settle down. No, that guy understands where who, who his options are. He's going to go after that girl who's 19, 20, 21, who's, who's, you know, soiling her royal oats. That's who he wants. So for a lack of a better um, word to use, in fact, I'm not going to use it. You know, because men want a woman who's, subs who's, who's submissive and women are going to have to learn how to settle. Okay? So let's not use the word settle. Because settle has a negative connotation to it. You're going to have to lower your standards. If and, and this is what I didn't tell her this, and maybe I should, because I love her to death. She's good people. But maybe you must now, as a female, understand. You must now learn. You must now figure out. If you really want to get married, if you really want to get married and start a family and have a family and be secure in your marriage for the rest of your life, you're going to have to lower your standards. Now, there's a lot of women who will say, and rightfully so, they have every right to say this, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> they are like, nah, nah, this is who I am. This is what I, this is what I am. This is, this is what I deserve. And, and I, 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 uh, it's not worth it. You do you boo. But there's a lot of reason why a lot of women get to their forties and then in their fifties and they're just kind of like, I just want a man. I just want to, I just, I just want to be loved. I just want to be taken care of. I just, it's, 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 this, this independent woman is getting old. And it's so funny. Women will listen to other women until it's a detriment to their own lives. And then that's how they end up 40 and 50 years old alone with their cats. I'm just, it, listen. This is why, and, and, and going back to the original point, it's because of this why beta males exist. Because y'all standards are so high, these men, these men end up growing into bitter, bitter men or bitter uh, incel men who, who, who think women are just the worst ever and you know there's no hope for them and blah blah blah, blah. They're, they're celibate not by choice no sir you're a virgin you just you're just a virgin um or these men who are willing to to do anything to get a female because they know they don't meet the standard they're willing to do anything. I've been there. 
I used to be a beta male. I used to be that guy. And then I started learning and understanding how women think. I, I, it, 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 it's funny. I, 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 I used to be that guy because I wasn't, I was an incel before incel. I just, I just thought women were the worst. They don't know what they want. They're all liars. This, that, and the other, blah, blah. There's no hope for me, blah, blah, blah. All this low self-esteem bullshit that I used to have back in the day. And then one woman, one girl, I ain't even going to front with y'all. One, one chick changed my entire life. And it was because of her I was like, okay, I get it now. I get it. It, and, and, it, it, and it opened up so many opportunities for me that I, I missed out on a lot of females because I then knew, I didn't know what I know now. I didn't miss out on females. I just couldn't read the signs, you know? So understand, ladies, y'all are the reason beta males are out. It is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. You got two options. You can stay the same or you can change your ways. Okay? It, it, it's amazing. You got a lot of men out here who are who are so-called beta males that want to do anything for a woman, but the women still go after these F boys. They still they still go after the F boys. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. You can't. The only sense that it makes is women are more attractive to the alpha males. It just is what it is. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of heat on this. I don't care. Because it's the truth. It's the truth. Ladies, y'all are responsible for beta men being out here. It is what it is. It's your boy, Billy Mac, and I'll holler at you next time.